I'm Dave O with AGA Productions, the resident obsessive compulsive cover to cover book reader. You're watching Two Minute Takeaway. No video synopsis is ever going to be as good as reading the actual book, and your reading may reveal different things than mine did, but perhaps this will save you some time. I just finished reading Streampunks, YouTube and the Rebels Remaking Media by Robert Kinsel, pronounced like Tinsel. Here are my thoughts. Let's start the timer. Why did I read it? This book was a Christmas present from my brother-in-law. We work in media and have a presence on YouTube. We make productions. Seemed like a good enough reason to read the book. What was my main takeaway? Streampunks was written by Robert Kinsel, the chief business officer at YouTube, who has a rich and storied history in media, coming out of communist-controlled Czechoslovakia, emigrating to the U.S., and rising through the ranks to become the head of digital production for Netflix, and ultimately end up where he is at YouTube. Kinsel is a tried and true believer in what he does, and this book is his treatise on the changing landscape in media, internet fame, content creation, and the benefits that YouTube provides to the world. There are a lot of topics covered in the book and span stories and interviews with many of those personalities that are mainstays on the YouTube platform, including Tyler Oakley, Casey Neistat, and Superwoman Lily Singh. However, all the stories lead me to this one main takeaway. Internet recognition, content creation, and fame. They take work and that consistency and a commitment to your craft. And often that craft is being open and authentic about who you are and translating that for the small screen. Has it changed how we work? This book hasn't really changed how we work, but it has added validity and sparked a lot of new ideas for the kind of content we want to create. Kinsel's take on succeeding in media today shows us that at least one thing is still true. If we want to be successful and sustained, it's going to take work. And fortunately, that's something that we here at AGA Productions are willing to do. Was it worth the price of admission? I got it as a gift, but this book usually retails at $30 in hardcover. And it was really good. If you're into biography, media creation, or just good stories of business creation, yeah, I'd say it was worth that. Or maybe wait until the paperback. Or they make a YouTube video out of it. Thanks for watching this Two Minute Takeaway with AGA Productions, where we're going to be doing more two minute reviews of books, music, movies, and more. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, for me, what have you been reading?